Hey yo, what's cracking everybody? Love it, GYT here, and welcome to my first episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. A little fan game I know nothing about. Uh, a majority of the experiences that you see on in this, I will try and keep a surprise for both me and you. I might look up a few things just to give you also a bit of information, but other than that, let's just jump right in, shall we? Skip the prologue. No. Can you tell me the story about the Zorua and the Pangoro again, Mommy? <laughs> Alright, I will. There was there once was a lonely Zorua living deep in the darkest forest. I'm sorry about my improper speech here. <laughs> he was a mischievous one, transforming into other Pokemon and beings that lived around. He would often use this ability to trick others by handing over food or using their bones to sleep in. Because of this, he didn't have many friends. I'm sure you can piece together why. But one day this changed when Zora met a powerful Pokemon called Pangoro. They were fighting over a rare and coveted golden apple. Many hours later, their fight came to an end, and no victory was. I skipped that without finishing reading, sorry. I knew they were, they I knew. Oh lord. They knew they were even even eventually evenly matched. One could not take out the other. With both staring at each other intensely, they knew they were destined for friendship. The two became quick companions. They were two peas in a pod, if you will. They traveled the world together, overcame hardships, went on thrilling adventures. Life was good for the two of them, until one day Zoroa went too far. Zoroa planned a devious prank on Pangoro. I shall transform into Pangoro's fallen mother. That would surely give him a spook, Zoroa said. It will be my best prank yet, Zoroa said. So while Pangoro left to find food, Zoroa put his malicious brain into action. And Pangoro was greeted with the sight of his dead mother. I believe that's what it said. <laughs> Paralyzed with a mixture of extreme emotion, Pangoro dropped his collection of food onto the ground. In that collection of food was a golden apple? <laughs> yes, that's right, a golden apple. When Zora saw this, he transformed back to his normal seat and looked down at the food and said, Hey, where'd you find this golden apple? It looks fresh and incredibly delicious. Zora waits his head to see a face full of fury, sadness, but most importantly, Disappointment. Zoro quickly realized that he, heard, uh, that he had hurt Pangoro very deeply and tried to apologize. Pangoro wouldn't hear any of it and immediately ran into the forest. Shaken and worried, Zoro went off. Yes! Zoro ran after him. Pangoro was nowhere to be found. Zoro realized that he repelled <laughs> his only friend with his selfless, selfishness. And Zoro became lonely once more. Sleep tight, Maria. Maria. <sighs> Morning already? Better get up. Oh, I'm playing as a small child. Tell lonely Zoro. <laughs> I'm only setting only playing computer games after I finish all those things. Okay, so you can't run immediately. Unless the key buttons are all different. Mommy, come on, come on. Ah, good morning, Maria. Did you sleep well? I'm crying breakfast right now. You might fetch me your father. He's working to give me some money. Don't take too long. I don't want his food to get cold. And come on, me, mommy. I need to find the study. Pictures frighten me. What are these letters? Adventure! What? What is this? I walk upstairs, the father's there. Maria, I told you not to go to the basement. I'm sorry, Daddy, I didn't mean to disobey you. Ah, oh, there's the father. 
<laughs> uh, oh, Mar Maria? Ah, Mar Maria. How are you doing? Mom said breakfast is ready, so get your... <laughs> so get your butt out of this room and have good food. I do love your mother's cooking. Alright, I'll be out in a few moments. Go tell your mother that, do you hear? <laughs> Messenger child, away! That's it, I'll be right out. Did he now? Well, there's no use in rushing, I guess. You should go upstairs and freshen up. I'll have your breakfast ready by then. Okay, and then we get to play outside afterwards, right? Of course. Now go on, Maria. I'll be waiting for you down here. I'm going right now. And back up we go. Oh. What was that? Mom! Mommy? Oh, I'm scared. Mommy! And... Mom? Who are you? How many times? What? How many times are you gonna make this little girl suffer? How many times are you willing to put her through this chaos? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not talking to you. Uh, oh, well, do you know where my parents are? They're downstairs. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm gonna go to them now. Maria. Yes? No matter what happens, don't you dare lose hope. Alright, Chad of the Hedgehog. Don't lose who you are. And don't you dare forget about... <laughs> Oh god, the main character's name is Ryan. I just called it Shadow the Hedgehog. Wow, I am very fucking original. Forget about what's happened. <laughs> don't you dare forget about... Oh, for god's sake! Don't you dare forget what's about to happen. You understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Now go to them. They're waiting. Oh, okay. Uh, that music was unsettling. Oh, this poor girl. Oh. Mommy! Wake up! Mommy, wake up! Mommy, wake up! Daddy, get out of the way! Get out! Why won't you say anything to me? Why? Marionette. Your father wishes to see you now. Well, what are you talking about? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you doing? Marionette. Marionette. Marionette! What? Now for the fifth time, Marionette. Your father is waiting for you on the east wing. You're making him wait longer than he has time for us, okay? Hmm. What? I won't say it again, just hurry along. My, my name's not Maria Ned, it's Maria. The stuff's Zoro doll. The stuff Pangoro doll. And I can't interact with the mirror. And those are candles. I am so confused. Uh. I think it's just here. <laughs> Money is. Oh. Where's my mom? I'm here sleeping with her lord now, Marionette. Stop calling me Marionette! It's Maria! What is this disperse effect? Your name is no longer Maria. Now, as I was officially planning to... No need for words and emotions, sir. How much pressure may be due to this girl's mind? <laughs> Very well. Arceus. Oh, oh, carpe diem. I'm gonna butcher this. Dorugansu Orama Adzaborosu Loro Fogo She's gone now, Marina. She's with the Lord now. No need to suffer the calamity that soon performs this earth. Marionette, it's your turn. No, you can't make me do it. Maids, bring Marina to the altar. They apparently can make her do it. Let go of me! Let go of me! You said the same to my mommy. 
she's coming because of you. Enough, Marionette. Go with dignity. I don't want this. Just let me go. Arceus, Garbit Diem, Gurugasu, I have to do this again. Lorufogio. Hey, yo, I hate you. Someone, please don't let him do this to me. Someone, please help me. Anyone? Mommy? Please? Which difficulty would you like to play in? I'm going to be playing in normal mode. Registration process beginning. Excuse me, can you hear me through that thing? Oh, hello there. Ah, that's better. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Amanda. I'm what you would call a scout. For what? The Avarim po the Avarim League, of course. It's my job to guide newcomers like you into, this, into the world of Pokemon. Before we continue, do you need any extra assistance? Controls. Z is A, select. X is our B button to open the menu and skip text. Space is run. That one's gonna be weird. S is toggle walk and run. Okay, same as insurgents. Shift, registered item to rotate tile puzzle. A, mega evolve, sort. D is quick save. F1 is program options. Mute sound, music. F8, take screenshot. F12, soft reset. Alt, toggle fast forward three times the beat. Okay, right there. Now we should talk about the game. <laughs> Expectation and requirement of the elite. There are 18 Terminators for each of the alongside the elite 8. You first have 8. Pokemon here act a little differently from other regions. They won't obey you if they don't deem you worthy. You can check your status as a trainer by, talk, by taking a look at your trainer card. Everything is listed there for you. Right, speaking of which, we should probably set that up now. <laughs> what do you identify as? Boy. Hey, got it. Damn, I'm a girl. You can tell from my feminine voice. <laughs> okay, so I have two profiles. Okay. I'm going through them. Uh, I'm through them. Please select the profile. This one. Well, uh, let's look at all. So we can get a good look at what all the trainers look like. That actually doesn't look all too bad. All things considered. Okay. Uh, moving on to this one, the third one. I don't know why I started at this one. I think I saw the red hair. And it's just like, oh yes, yes, red hair. Let's take a look at my icon, shall we? The red-haired man. Half my characters are red. Let's do this. Okay. Our next option is oh. I actually like this one's Gusto. I'm gonna be dead honest. I'm gonna take a look at all of them, but that might be the one we pick. Uh, this, this is probably another female. Yep, called it. I think the hair is uh, And finally, we have the first one in the list. And. Yeah, so taking a look at these. It is me, this one, and this one. I think I'll be going with the third one. Hope I can get there. Actually, you know what? No. We'll just cut out the middle. I like this one's swagger. I like this one's look. And god damn it, that's an amazing battle sprite. So who will we be going with? The sixth one. Right, listen, Sean. Can you tell me your name? Uh, we will be going to try the true name I always go with. Lava. So your name is Lava? Yes. Alright, everything seems settled. Do you have anything else you need to get done? Password. Oh no. I see you all once again. To get East Grand City then. We're waiting for you at East Garen Laboratory. Don't forget. Safe travels, Lava. Registration complete. Are you done with your registration? Please come here so I can print out your trainer card. Okay, this will just take a quick second. Please be patient. Now to enter all your credentials. Here you are, Lava. Your trainer card is ready. Lava received the trainer card. It isn't verified, though. The trainer card isn't verified yet. You need to verify that. Verify it at Garen Immigration. 
Good luck out there, Lava. What's the point of the registration process? Why can't I just walk in and battle Jim? Because everyone does that in every other region and they want to be unique. Leaders. I wasn't sure if I should register for the league or not, but in the end I went for it. I suppose that's a thing now. Alright, Edgelord. Hmm, I wonder if Lava's finished with their registration yet. It's finished up. Ah, there you are, Lava. Did everything go smoothly? I think you're done with registration. Do you mind taking a quick stroll with me? See these doors? When the ship closes. When the ship is close to the dock. <laughs> when the ship is close to docking at Garen City, a feast will be held behind them. We still have quite some time before we get to that point, so why don't you go visit my friend Augustus? He's actually the captain of this ship. He used to be a very powerful trainer back in the day. He's retired now. I'm sure... You can find out some detail about the Avon region by talking to him. I know it's been difficult ever since we left, but we mustn't become dep de depressed. So you have fun, okay? Explore new, new people. I have some stuff I need to take care of. I'll meet you down here once I'm finished. And there she goes. I'll see you soon, okay? Don't take long. Okay, so... Uh... I think we have to go up? Yeah! Ah, you must be love, correct? My name is Augustus. Augustus Brian. I'm the captain of the SS Oceana. How are you enjoying your voyage to the Avon region? There's a lot to do on Avon, though I don't think you'll ever get bored. I've heard from your mother that you've registered as an official Pokemon trainer. Do you know what that means for you? Well, even if you don't, I suppose I'll lay it all out for you anyway. Because of the size of Avrim, there are more than your ordinary amount of gym leaders. There's a total of 18 gym leaders, and instead of an elite 4, we have an elite 8. Pokemon also acts slightly different in this region. They will only be obedient towards you if you can if you impress them with your skill potential. How would you like how would you manage to do this, you may ask? You can show off your skill by obtaining lots of gym badges. Oh, oh, oh. The more likely Pokemon the more likely Pokemon will be inclined to aid you in your journey. You can see what badge you need for certain levels on your trainer card. The requirements are etched on, so that you will always be able to refer to that. Now that was such a long and boring lesson, wasn't it? How about we head downstairs and start this banquet? I'm sure that all of the guests on the ship are dying of anticipation to see what we have in store. It's etched onto the trainer card, so that means... Oh, wow! Okay, so... Okay, so the first nine gym badges only get me up to level 60, while the last nine only get me, will get me up to level 100. I still think I chose the swaggest one of them all. <laughs> so, this is going to be very interesting. I don't think I've played a Pokemon game like this before. And again, I've mainly played the main series game for Insurgents, so... Not really much experience with the fan games. I'm already lost, I think. Do you need to your your poor mother behind? Don't worry, I'm only teasing you. That's a little challenge. Our table is just ahead. The banquet won't start for a few more moments. Feel free to wander about until you're ready. I'll be here. I'll be waiting. So there's our table. I have heard the food of the SS Oceana is simply divine. Not, okay, I didn't even skip that one. I make cuisine like this. So be sure to appreciate it. Wait, let me see if I can. Yeah, the, no, it just skips it. Okay. Hopefully the banquet doesn't delay anything. I have a meeting in a few hours. The banquet marks the end of the ship's voyage. We'll be docking at Garen City very shortly. Aww. 
That's a weird goth tone. Hello again! Do you think the Pokemon in the Avril will like me? I'm a pretty likable guy. <laughs> I think it'll be fine, dude. What's so special about the food here? I mean, it's really good, but... Oh. Piano lady. I hope the sound of my piano will soothe your soul while you eat. Please enjoy the rest of the trip. The banquet is about to begin. Your mother must be waiting for you, no? I think that's everyone we are able to talk to. Are you ready for the banquet to start? Yes. Excellent. Let's get settled. <laughs> I've just defaulted them to British. Greetings, everyone! It's my pleasure to host this lovely banquet on this magnificent day. This marks the end of your... <laughs> of your... of our week-long journey together. I hope that, that this trip will stay with you in your memory forever. Perhaps one day we'll, we shall see each other again. And with that said and done, I'd like the banquet to commence. Yeah! Sorry, but I'm gonna have to postpone this little party. <laughs> I took a guess. Who are you three? What is the meaning of this? We're going to need all of you to stay put and listen very carefully. We have explosives on board this ship. Any act of rebellion will result in, cala in a calamity. None of you can afford. So let's just get through this nice and easy, okay? Y you're hijacking my ship? Hijacking? No, no, no. That's too barbaric. We're here to pick up someone. Get, get them out of here now. Don't make any funny movements. No one is leaving this room, you hear? <laughs> I said don't move. Get them out of here right this instant. Got to tell him you know what to do. <laughs> You're all going to regret this. Now! Run! We're going down one. Hey, aren't you that kid that disappeared out of thin air? What happened to you? Anyway, some point this morning was the point is going off the ship. But after you disappeared, some guy detonated an explosive on the hull of the SS Oceana. Water is gushing in at a long rate. If we don't find a way out soon. A couple of the weird pentacle that couple of the weird pentacle things. They seem harmless, but they're the they seem to be watching our every move. They're also as if they're trying to observe us or look for something. You should go ahead. I'll stay here and see if anyone needs help. Is that such a good one? Hurry! And by ahead, she means we go down. Understood. We'd stop you coming up this way. The cargo hold is being submerged underwater as we speak. It would be a death wish to go down the staircase. It's not worth it. Yes, I know I changed his accent. Shut up. Captain! Lava! I'm glad to see that you're doing okay. It seems that this, like this perfect day is taking quite the turn, hasn't it? Who would do such a thing? Huh? Is that your mother? I actually don't know where she is. When the bomb exploded, it knocked me out cold. When I came around, everyone in the room was gone. Water is gushing and fell into the ship as we speak. It won't be long until the SS Oceana rests at the bottom of the sea forever. I think I'm going to stay here, in my own misery, for a bit. There were some people at the exit of the boat, looking for a way to stop the water level from rising. We should speak with them. They could have seen your mother. Who else is here? Oh, yeah, because the piano lady's upstairs. <laughs> Why would anyone else be here? Great, gotta go the long way. Oh my! What a terrible disaster this has turned into! What's going on? The sink is shipping, isn't it? Oh god, what are we gonna do? Those guys down there, they're trying to block the entrance so the water won't come in. The pressure from the water is too great. They can't seem to do anything. What are we going to do? It's trying to stop the water from entering. Our Pokemon can't do as well. We should try and find some life rafts and escape. Hey, what you... Hey, wait, do you see that dark figure in the water? Yeah, it's very faint, but I can it as well. Yeah, let go of us! The, they kidnapped those two people! We should head down to the cargo hold to hide. 
Great idea. You, kid, we need to tell that person blocking the staircase to move. We need to get down there and hide as soon as possible. Hurry! Great, okay. Messenger boy away, as most Pokemon games go. Huh? Something stalks is attacking the guests. And now we want to hide in the cargo hold? I, I'm not sure of how keen I am on this idea. What if the water starts to enter from above? What do we do then? We trap, and then... You know the rest, don't you? Yep, they're back! And there's more than last time! They look like the Oxus. What? What? Let's go of me! Well... So we're going down anyway. No oh, great. Mother. So you use the water. The water can't be controlled. There's just way too much damage. Sylvia! What's wrong, Sylvia? Lava, is that really you? What are you doing here? I thought you were somewhere safe. Well, all that matters is that we're together again, right? The ship won't last very long, Lava. But we're we're going to have to abandon it. I have a Pokemon we can use to surf to shore. But as for the other people, what makes you think that you're safe from our onslaught? The hell? We came here for one purpose and one purpose only. We're not leaving until we've fulfilled that purpose. Are you the one who's behind this attack? Perhaps. Perhaps that is a possibility. But that's not something I'm com comfortable sharing. The only thing that, I'm, that truly matters right now is your apprehension. M my apprehension? That's correct. Did you think Lava was our target? Maybe that's what they made you think, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Off a go. They would go so far as to destroy the SS Oceana? You've endangered all of those innocent people who have no idea what's going on. Witnesses can be such a bother. It's better if we just wipe them all out. And if someone happened to get out, they would spread awareness? Assuming anyone got out, which they won't, it wouldn't be too bad to consider that most people think we're quite passive anyway. <laughs> it's time people woke up from the stream of safety they have going on. <laughs> it's going down like this, huh? Sylvia, so turn. Lava, I want you to take care of all of my Pokemon. They can help you escape. It's okay. As long as I know you're safe and sound, that's all that matters to me. Sorry. Can't do that. It's not gonna happen. Don't think you're safe. I'm gonna deal with you next time. What was that? They got below! What? You better appreciate me, Lama. I should've been off the side. And easier. As easy as I thought it would be. Instead of the piano crashing on the floor. That song was dedicated to you. I don't even know if it was worth it in the long run. Can you escape here by yourself? Ah, oh, but it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Better escape this place, kiddo. So it looks like my time here is up. I wanted this to be known, they just slaughtered three Deoxys in the process. Ah. And where do you think you're going? Did you think you were done with me? Be a good little child and come with us. There's no point in fighting back. That'll just make things worse in the long run. Oh, they are red. <laughs> what? Away we go! <laughs> Whatever. We'll deal with them later. Now what do we do? The SS Oceano is done. If we stay any longer, we'll be dragged into the ocean. Let's cut our losses and get out of here now. I. Oceana Pier. Shipwrecked, Chapter 1. I know we haven't done much, but that's when I'm going to have to leave you guys for this episode. This has gone on long enough, and hey, even the game's agreeing with me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!